Hi everybody, back again from Switzerland. Never had a perfect day? That's what this is. Fresh like water. And here are the plates. These are the fastening rings. I will put thread in here and threaded rod. Gaskets, they are laser cut. I have to clean them, you see if I go like this I, I get dirty. Now I'm threading the plate with this machine that goes backwards and forward. You can see here By now it's midnight and I am test assembling my first supercell. There we go. Now I have a little dent here. Every plate has been cut in the same direction so I turn them backwards so that if there is an alignment, magnetic alignment in the in the plate. I will keep it. This is the vinegar. It's the other plates. I'm cleaning them. After having been washed in uh, white vinegar and rinsed in distilled water with a nature's force. Here they are, clean and ready to go to work. Here it is, my first assembled cell. It stayed overnight and it's still perfectly watertight. And for you Bob Boys people from a water car, this could possibly be a way to make a, a bob cell without having to carve all that material. And you can make it any size you want. Ask Bob if it's possible. This is conditioning at about one amp. This is the control window that I made to see the level of the liquid and you can see the teeny teeny bubbles going up. I have taken this window away for the purpose of uh, seeing what I am doing while conditioning. One would expect a lot of dirt, of scum, to come up like this. But as a matter of fact, after 15 minutes, this is all I have. Very, very clean water, because I cleansed the, the plates in white vinegar and distilled water, and here's what you get. No scum, no dirt. It's bubbling all the way up. This is 45 minutes conditioning in extra pure sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. Naturally clear like nature is. This piece of acrylic here that you see is this one. As you can see it, I glued it on and from the, from the back side 
it's just a little window in the metal. This is where I started with the 13 plate cell. Well, I've been told I should close here, should close here, should close here. So I thought I may just as well close it all around like I did here and make a cell that is already completed. I am now having the water about up to here. So what can happen is the current flows from negative to positive directly through the water and makes a bridge. I just realized that I've been fooling myself with this design. Since I have the positive here and five bats in between, I didn't realize that I multiplied by two the current that goes by. You see it on the test now. Two eight, five seventy-three, Five fifty eight fifty four ten thirty six and fourteen seventeen. Since I don't have anything back here, I've built this one, this little piece that goes in like this, and from the inside it's insulated. It has little pieces of this material. Okay, here we have uh, the production at about uh, 13, 7, 14 amps. The water is about 40 degrees Celsius and I would like to measure now how much it produces in liters. Okay. Here the bottle is going up, it's uh, 750 cc. Okay, we have 40 seconds for 0 0.75 liters is about 1 liter, 1 1.2 liters per, per, per minute. Well folks, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this cell naturally is a concept and needs a lot of uh, adjustment and electronics and I will take all the help I can get anybody has anything intelligent to propose PVMs and whatever I will gladly accept the, uh, the, uh, the counseling and, and the help and as you noticed this cell has no water adding. So I will have to, to put a, a water system that will put water in it while it's uh, used. Sorry, my English is not flowing today. Have a nice time. Goodbye to everybody.